ओके सो लेट स्टार्ट दिस सेशन हेलो एंड गुड इवनिंग एवरीवन आई एम स्मिथ बन पट्टे गुड टू सी यू ऑल हियर ऑब्वियसली वी हैव गैदर्ड हियर फॉर दिस सेशन ऑफ टी क्लब राइट यानी हम यहां पे टी क्लब के बारे में डिस्कस करने वाले हैं आफ्टर द ग्रेट सक्सेस ऑफ ई क्लब दैट वी हैड वी थॉट वाई शुड बी ओनली रेस्ट्रिक्ट दिस टू स्टूडेंट्स दम यानी ये सिर्फ स्टूडेंट्स तक ही सीमित क्यों रखना है तो इसीलिए वी हैव कम अप विद दिस इनिशिएटिव दैट इज द टी क्लब टू ब्रिंग द टीचर्स कम्युनिटी टूगेदर सो दिस इज बेसिकली अ यूनिक डिजिटल प्लेटफॉर्म यानी एक ऐसा डिजिटल प्लेटफॉर्म दैट नॉट ओनली फोकसेस ऑन द प्रोफेशनल बट ऑल्सो द पर्सनल ग्रोथ ऑफ आर टीचर मेंबर्स सो विथ ऑल सेड एंड डन let me introduce you to the speaker for today your mentor for today she is an engineer with a passion to teach she has been teaching science since 22 years yes and has been mentoring thousands of students every year she has been declared best chemistry teacher for four years in a row at a reputed institute she has recorded many video lectures and has reached out across the country so let's welcome nimisha narseman a very 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 good evening to all the fellow teachers there it's indeed a pleasure to be with you all today my name is nimisha i'll be there with you for next an hour maybe and will be sharing my experiences with you all indeed indeed a pleasure to be with you all as uh, smith rightly said yes i have done my engineering but had a passion for teaching well uh, i would say teaching is also genetics my mom is a teacher and that is where i got in from have been teaching for 22 years now science and has learned a lot every year has been a learning experience for me and that's what i'm going to share with you all with all your fellow teachers my experiences my learnings and how i have tried to change myself so once again welcome you all well these years of journey that i had in let me tell you a few hard hitting facts i would summarize them the three most hard hitting facts rather the first one being every year i have faced as you all have been doing a new batch of students and that's what adds to our excitement a new batch every year new faces every year new energy every year and that's where the first thing that is i need to change myself the way the crowd is begun change rather i would say it's time to evolve evolve as a teacher and this is my first very first learning in entire years whatever i've spent so far a new year new faces new energy you are sure i think you all will agree to me the entire generation the way they focus the way they concentrate has changed the span of concentration is now very very less in fact the kind of respect that you used to earn before and the kind what you expect in the classroom is different now the crowd has become more smart and wittier and they want things faster so where the generation is changing i am sure we need to change as well we cannot stick to our traditional way of teaching and that's what i mean in fact every year when the batch starts the first discussion in the staff room is how is the batch this batch is energetic this batch doesn't look so much this is a kind of discussion we teachers have in this is how we relate with each other this is what we talk in the classrooms and these batches as the time goes on as the year progresses we learn a lot from them and those learnings i am going to share with you all 
the second and the most important fact the something which actually made a drastic change in the way we used to teach the learning that we got is from a virus i am sure you also must be having stories to narrate how this virus has actually changed the style of teaching has actually made us realize online or offline the teaching must go on kudos to all the students who managed this situation these changes and hats off to all the teachers who actually adapted the new style in a few seconds in a few months hats off but i would like to make a few shift of thoughts here i remember the moment the lockdown opened and the children were in the classroom the very first parent teachers meet which i happened to witness i would love to share that experience with you all the lockdown has just opened up everything has opened up the children are right in front and the first time after 2 years the parent and teachers got an opportunity to meet so i'm observing this there is a teacher sitting here she gets the first set of parent with the student the teacher makes a casual remark speaks to the student what happened you were such a lovely student your grades are going down the student was ready with the answer ma'am that was uh, lockdown was there online was there my basics are not so good now i have suffered a little and that's why my grades have gone down the teacher agrees yes i agree to this the next set of parent comes in teacher this time makes it a point to make a remark and explain to the parent that i know your child for so many years why do i see there is a shift in the grade is she not studying at home the parent this time is ready with the answer online no ma'am the studies didn't go on so well even we were very busy the things were different the concepts are lost that is why there is an issue with the grade so the parent was ready with the answer online the virus is to be blamed the student was ready with the answer virus is to be blamed the teacher was happy i am not to be blamed virus virus ka problem hai after some time i observe a set of parent comes in and they are furious they were angry what madam you have not taught you have not taught well see the grade of my child what is going on in the school now this time the teacher explains it's all because of the online sir he must have found it difficult to cope up don't worry this year will be better online with little basics issues were there what point i am trying to make teachers here is we have used the pandemic the lockdown the virus as an excuse the parent is using it as an excuse the student has got this as an excuse and might as well the teachers are also doing the same i think it's it's not to be looked at in this manner how can we actually say that the basics were not fine the concepts were not explained properly and we can actually say the two years of the child is lost the grades might have gone down absolutely no there cannot be an excuse the teaching cannot stop in any calamity in any situation this is the learning that i have taken come what may online or offline come whatever calamity comes up the teaching has to be done in an effective manner so this is the hard realization i would say i had in and of course if i say futuristic absolutely we all are all geared up we better actually increase the gears as nep is what we are all looking forward to this can be a major revolution as well in the industry so what i am trying to say is these are the experiences which i have taken it let me evolve myself as a teacher so that's what i would say i want you all to have a small thought on this start pondering where and what 
changes we can bring in. So what, may whatever may be the situation, our teaching goes on. Well, in this process of getting evolved, when I can observe the education system itself has changed. Right from those traditional days, I remember when I started teaching long back. Being a science teacher, I was that old school teacher, that old method of teaching. Where I used to have absolute fun, I used to love making the child recite in my classroom, memorize in my classrooms. Is this correct? Was this the right way of doing it? Yes, at that point of time, the moment I say, okay students, I will explain you the definition now and this is how we do the definition. And when the entire class used to recite with me, I used to have fun. I used to like it. But as of today, as and when the curriculum changed, the way the CBSE board, ICSE board, the way the board has come up, we know that today's method of teaching is definitely not reciting and memorizing. Today's method is basically focusing on two very, very important aspects. One, our teaching should be such that we make sure that we make the child think. The critical thinking has to become better. And we must increase their problem solving capability. Of course, there are many parameters that we know that today's curriculum talks about, but I have been focusing on these two. Make the child think, the critical thinking should be better, and make him solve. Let his problem-solving ability become better. So I was introspecting myself. The pandemic taught me, the batch taught me, and the new curriculum system definitely makes us introspect. And this is where I give a moment to all you fellow teachers there. I am now going to share a sum of the experiences and the learnings and what changes I could bring in my teaching. I want you all to introspect and definitely you can put your suggestions, put your experiences in the chat box as well. Just start thinking, maybe a little shift, keep an open mind and let's all think a little bit here. When I say I'm introspecting, I was wondering what has been my teaching style all these years. And I'll be honest, I'll be very honest sharing it with you all. The first and the most important thing that I have been doing in my classes, when I teach, let's say I decided today is the concept of gravitation which I am going to teach the child. So I am going to teach universal law of gravitation. I break down the sentence, I explain the law to them, I give examples to them and I am happy. I did justice. I told them what is universal law of gravitation. But deep down somewhere, what I realized is the kind of generation that we have in Whatever I spoke inside the classroom is already there in the textbook, well explained. In fact, a good student and even an average student can read that textbook and at least understand what is this law of gravitation all about. So what have I done? Did I teach them or I just informed them what is there in the textbook? This is the question mark I always had in. I have informed the law which is there in the textbook, I have informed them that this is the law. The question is, did he understand this law? Does he know how this law will be applicable in daily life? Where it is applicable? Did I do justice there? I doubt. The amount of time that I received, what I have done is the best way I have informed the syllabus, I have informed the topic to the student. Most so ever, being a science teacher, we have a lot of drawings that we do on our board, the blackboard work, a lot of solving of numericals that we do. And this is where I can proudly say I used to love drawing on the board. I love presentation on the board. 
with all these years i am sure you all will agree we become better and better in our board work in our board presentation we know how we want to actually put things on the board there i remember whenever i was solving human eye explaining the child let's say the lecture is of 45 minutes i'll take around 25 minutes to draw the entire human eye on the board those 25 minutes which i am drawing on the board my back is towards the student for 25 minutes i'm actually not looking at them i don't know what's happening there they are talking amongst each other they are looking here they are in their own world i'm not aware because i'm busy drawing the entire thing then it may take around 10 minutes to mark the labels things and explain the cl entire classroom so out of 45 minutes 35 minutes i was drawing i was labeling and i have explained what is human eye all about i have taken the 35 minutes there and now the remaining 10 minutes i ask the child you draw it students you practice this now in the book which i am pretty sure it's not an enough amount of time i have given to the student definitely the student is very impressed in the classroom the student is like ma'am what concept what drawing ma'am student is absolutely impressed in the classroom student has actually made me the rajini of the classroom that time i feel like rajini there i am the star there because i was performing i was practicing i was the one who impressed them all it's the teacher who was doing it is this a waste of time is this correct did i utilize those 45 minutes in the correct format where 35 minutes were belonging to me and hardly 10 minutes belonged to the child this is a question to be thought for in fact the human eye topic which i have taught the child is going to write in the exams he is the one who has to perform so was that 10 minutes of the classroom enough is that enough time to make sure that he performs in the exam was that justice i definitely feel absolutely no there is something missing in this entire teaching pattern that i have followed so far in fact i guess you all will agree this 45 minutes what i am explaining if you can all relate to that this time what we are giving to the child inside the classroom where we have to deliver the best what we have in actually 70% of the time the teacher is active the teacher is performing the teacher was practicing and it is hardly 30% of the time where the child is active but eventually the exam is 100% the student he is the one who has to reproduce in the exam paper so are we doing justice to the time of delivering inside the lecture can we make this more better can it be the other way round can it be rather 30% the teacher is active and make the child more active inside the classroom is the pattern that we have to think is the thought i leave you all with please definitely have a thought on this this is an actual experience i hope if you all agree if you also are facing the same definitely share it with us and then coming to this i felt what i have been doing all these years is that entire teaching has been teacher centered teaching it was all about the teacher it was all about the teacher the teacher is the star the teacher is the performer i in fact the classroom should be such that the child should be the star the student should be active that's not what we are doing we have wasted those 45 minutes i was the informer there i was the teacher there but i was not the mentor there coming to this is where the change is required and that is where this tea club we all teachers come on this platform and we can change this style we can make a big impact big impact it is really high time that we evolve and we come to a entire conclusion that the teacher centric teaching is no more applicable in today's generation 
teachers club that is t club the initiative is basically to make the entire teaching student centered let us change the concept bring a major shift there let the student be the star of your classroom let him perform let us touch every different category of students sitting in our classroom average above average the smartest one every student should be touched in the classroom that can happen only when they start performing in the class they start solving in the class but how is that possible how can we make the classroom student centered we can definitely do this by empowering the teacher t club teachers club this is all about empowering the teacher with the right tools so that we are we can make our teaching student centered and that's what we will speak about what are the tools which can empower us i have been personally using these tools for last 3 years after learning all the lessons of all these years and have ch seen major changes performance oriented teaching and have seen happy faces inside the classroom well what tools i am going to talk about we will have a detailed discussion about these tools the first very beautiful tool that is going to empower us is the teachers edge what is teachers edge all about we will just come to that in few minutes and the second tool which is absolutely the cherry on the cake is nothing else but the beautiful books beautifully well made qr based digital firefly books and that's what we will discuss now so let's whatever learnings i had whatever learnings you all had so far let's evolve from that let's move ahead let's see what the new technology can give us what we should adapt from there these are the tools which we are using it i am using it and i'm going to share with you all so let's begin let's let's start with our student centric teaching methodology coming to teachers edge teachers edge the first tool that we have into offer this particular tool is nothing else beautiful presentation of every concept in the textbook every concept in the chapter beautiful when i say it is not that they look good but they are up to the mark they are the way it is required so that it becomes easier for a teacher to explain in the classroom as we all know we have to embrace the technology it's high time that the shift from blackboard to a white screen to a projector based teaching to an online teaching it has to shift to that model students want to see that student want to see beautiful presentation there this is the first feature i would these are the actual experiences of 3 years of teaching using teachers edge let's say i'm teaching a very simple concept i'm going to make the child draw the structural formula of propene definitely by now the child is aware what is the general formula of an alkene and i ask them to substitute so the children are doing it the presentation is very simple coming on the screen there now i tell them as alkene propene has 3 carbon they all know what is the first step put the carbon first make carbon in your book first and put the required bond now here before i show them the answer they have i have at least told them to think how to start and i wait i'll wait for a second i'll wait for them to think then i know my click i know how it proceeds how the entire presentation goes i need not see the screen my eye contact is constantly with the classroom i am in touch with every child sitting there now there is no scope of him looking at the window out there because i am in constant eye contact the moment this is done i have get a chance i can ask a student please tell me where which bond will be present here i use my time there definitely they come up with because it's an alkene let us put a double bond 
between one pair of carbon and a single bond otherwise. Now what happens is once the child enters and after that when I show the same thing happening on the screen and I tell them absolutely right, this is what you meant, this is what, exactly what happened, he is happy, he could answer. A very simple concept but he knows that what he meant has come beautifully on the screen there. Not only that, I take, give them the required time. Now all of you know how to put hydrogen atoms here. Take a second and finish off that part. Put hydrogen atoms at the required places. I am waiting there. Now why am I every time able to wait here? Because I am not spending time in writing. I have saved that time. That time is saved here. I have to just click. I have to just move on to the next point. I can rather make the child think and child practice because I have saved my time. As soon as they finish, they check the answer, how hydrogen has to be placed there. It looks beautiful. It is self-explanatory. If required, we explain them there as well. In fact, if I want to brush up, okay, what does that dash indicate? What is the meaning of that dash? The carbon and hydrogen, there is a single dash. Carbon and carbon, there is a double dash. Let's revise. Let's tell me what was the concept all about. Here, using the presentation, I have an advantage. I can even show them that. If this is the structure, every dash represents a pair of electrons. And that's where every dash becomes a pair of electron. Again, carbon hydrogen becomes a pair of electron. This becomes easy for them to visualize and revise and understand dash is a pair, dash is a pair, expecting double bond means two pairs of electrons. A very, very simple concept, but I am sure the presentation is coming out in such a way that even that slow student of the classroom is very clear. He will be able to solve the next three compounds on his own. It is fine to spend a little time here. And this is the change that I could bring in my teaching using these applications, using this presentation. So the first realization of using teacher's edges, the content is beautiful and simplified. It's very, very simplified format. The entire presentation, the entire chapter, all concepts nicely explained. Well, let me take you to one thing what a physics teacher knows, which is like takes a lot of time and we are not able to make the child do it inside the classroom, the ray diagrams. Ray diagrams for a concave mirror, when we are drawing on the board, the board does not have ruled lines. Whereas the book of the child has ruled lines. So we are just explaining in the air. Take the line, take two centimeters. Here in the presentation, it is so thoughtful the way it has been made. Draw the line. Where you are going to place the center, where the mirror will be placed. Show them exactly what they are going to do in the text, in their notebook. This is how the presentation comes up. Take a scale. Take 2 cm distance, again mark 2 cm and mark 2 cm. You all very well know what are these to be labeled as. So let them tell you that this is the center of curvature, this is the focus. Let them tell us that. Very clear. They know exactly what they need to do in their notebook which looks exactly same like the presentation. Okay, how do we draw the mirror? How do we draw the concave mirror? That also comes in a very elaborate manner. Take your protractor, place it in this format. Half of the time in the classroom used to go moving around in the class, showing them how to place the protractor. Now this is convenient, this is easier. Place the protractor in this format, use your pencil and draw the surface. That's it. Draw the surface like this, shade it up and the reflecting, the concave mirror is ready. Very, very simple, very, very clear how they need to do it in their notebooks. It looks exactly like their notebook work. And what I have done, I know the presentation, I am constantly watching them. 
by this time even if you pop up the next question you ask them to solve draw ray diagrams for images obtained in concave mirror when the object is beyond the center of curvature i can now take some time as they know how to start with the basic ask a student where do i place the object wait for an answer let everybody place the object together and now ask them let's draw let's make the image and for me it comes in an absolute proper way how they need to do it neatly in their notebook the first tree how it comes up where the arrow mark should be it goes at a beautiful pace likewise because i am showing this in the presentation format i have saved a lot of time of drawing on the board and i have ensured everybody is drawing these ray diagrams in front of me in the classroom i can solve at least 8 diagrams in a span of 20 minutes that's nice right that is what they will be doing in the exam that is what the mentor or the teacher is supposed to do it i was not supposed to practice they were supposed to practice in the class this is the feature which i love about teachers edge in fact the favorite topic human eye which i felt i was very good in drawing i was very artistic beautiful work but when i saw the presentation here i realized this is much better this is how the human eye presentation can be explained in a beautiful format helping them to visualize how it looks like i can label it i need not spend now 25 minutes drawing show them the labeling show them that this is where the cornea is or maybe this is what is the function is show them where is the iris explain the function spend a little more time there what iris is supposed to do where is the pupil explain them what is the function of the pupil one by one at a good pace the entire diagram comes up and it looks nice in fact there are many concepts in science which should be visualized to understand like for example in pupil how the eye how pupil behaves when more light is entering and when less light is entering what happens to the size of the pupil more clear with the help of the presentation this is what i meant the technology is making our life easier and making the visualization for the child beautiful more retention can be expected because he has seen what we wanted to talk about this is the third aspect visualization beautiful visualization using teachers edge well physics teachers know the entire pain of solving the problems on the board in fact this is where the child also feels a little anxious physics numericals why can't the question come on the screen spend more time explaining the question and asking them what is the given here what is to find here and which formula will you use why can't we make the class more interactive rather here so we read the question this is what i have been doing this 3 years down i read the question after a clear reading of the question i ask the child to tell me what is the given part here i am already going to save time i don't have to write this entire thing so the child mentions the given is let's say in, as for example here the mass of the object is given so let him say this what is given the gravitational force relation is given here let someone else tell me what we have to find what is the find part here the weight in newtons now give them some time to think which is the formula to be used here right and there will be many popping their hands up which formula to be used here let the entire sum now we can actually wait there and ask them you substitute you start solving i am waiting it won't take more than 3 to 4 minutes to complete this activity but yes what is the advantage of the activity i could interact with them and i could ask them to solve it in fact i'll tell you why the why i love this presentation why i love the way it has been made the entire solving happens and even that minute details for example once they substitute in this particular sum there is a very simple calculation here see there the calculation 49 in the numerator 3 in the denominator 
you all will agree there are students in our classroom who find this division also difficult they are lost they know how to substitute but they never complete their sums this presentation this app helps to ensure that everybody gets that opportunity everybody gets that chance actually it explains in detail how 49 can be divided by 3 as we know our batch we can always ask one of the student to help in here let us solve together let us solve it together it goes in that detail how it has to be solved a simple division so even that slow child has been catered while the other children may have completed they are ready with their answer but let the everybody get an opportunity to see it how it happens so this is how numericals you will find all numericals solved in this app in fact chemistry reactions of course we know how how it is to solve them chemistry reactions they pop up on the screen and the most basic thing the first thing what the children start with you all our teachers i'm sure you will know how it happens is at least they need to first count the atoms on both the sides why can't we make that as a good activity as an interactive activity maybe the first few equations three or four equations we solve it together make them count and make them realize what number has to come there like for example look at this presentation of reactions it clearly comes in a tabular form it highlights which element we are going to discuss first like here the element is iron so the moment i say iron the children the student whom i have questioned they themselves are able to understand from the presentation that on the left hand side there is only one atom and on the right hand side the highlight goes i can ask him tell me now what do you see on the right hand side very clearly there are three atoms absolutely clear for every student sitting there even the child who is little slow i have seen teachers you will agree the presentation is in such a simplified format that even he will be able to tell you what are the number of atoms at least the first basic step is done and then of course you all are have been delivering lectures all this year you know how to put forth the further part so what i mean to say is the presentation is giving an equal opportunity to every student sitting in your classroom let's summarize this entire thing and let's see how the teachers edge gives the final beautiful opportunity as well this is how it looks like for us teachers when we are using it and let's say when i want to revise the entire concept the revision is always concept based the child may not ask us the entire chapter but the child always has concerns in certain concept and he wants us to revise that this is the beauty of it the entire presentation the entire app looks like this you can select your course the batch which you are teaching the cbsc 10th batch or maybe cbsc 9th whichever batch you are teaching you can select the subject mathematics science the subject that you are teaching open up the chapter that you want to clear with the child the chapter when it opens up the chapter has been divided into concepts it's not an entire chapter it has been divided as concept 1 concept 2 so whichever concept you going to explain that you click on that and that part you revise with the child so our revision time becomes less and effective you know what exactly you need to teach you can do it in a quicker manner and in an effective manner so effective revision is something we always dream of we always want to have in this app definitely helps us to do that so let me summarize this is what i meant student centered teaching is absolutely possible using this teachers edge firstly it helped us to simplify the content as i showed you a few i just shared a few presentation with you all very very simplified manner the content comes up in fact it has helped us to save students time the time of the child is now saved in the classroom you can cover more portion and in an effective manner 
it has also helped them to visualize things and understand better their retention increases you are able to make them solve in the classroom this is the best part that can happen inside the classroom this is where we can bring that shift 70% the child is active 30% the teacher is active we have also ensured that we have given an equal opportunity to whether it's an average student above average or the smart kid we are ensuring that happens in the classroom we don't want to touch the core of only few students we want to ensure it goes to everyone and last but not the least it saves our energy it can help us to do an effective revision these are the advantages i felt i'm sure some of you who are using it already must be aware of this must be already feeling or must be relating to what i said right yes uh, vijay ma'am even biology subjects a lot of beautiful presentations are there likewise how i showed a human eye as well a beautiful nice presentation very self explanatory you will have it yes okay now coming to this was about the teacher how we empowered the teacher but along with this what about giving something in the hand of the student and this balance will make it oh beautiful in the sense teacher's edge is one tool that you have in and the second tool that we have in is the amazing amazing firefly books these firefly books are beautifully crafted has a combination of four things in it which maybe you will help me in some time what are these four aspects i am talking about these books are made concept wise now for example the page that is opened up in front of you is a chapter called as reflection of light the entire chapter has been divided into concepts concept 1 introduction concept 2 mirror and types of mirrors below that are the related questions and where are the questions from the questions are from ncert and from even reference books but it is related to that concept beautiful part is can you see the book how nice there are good amount of space left for the child to write those answers in our age in our tradition in you know when we studied we used to call it as a workbook but is this just a workbook no this is just not a workbook as i said it comprises of the textbook question that is ncert is there of reference book questions and of course it's a workbook as the child is going to write in here but more so ever these workbooks can consist of marks how every question will come in the exam for one mark two mark it has that detailing and it has qr code against every question in the book there is no other product where even a one mark question has a video lecture attached to it in short the book has a teacher in it a teacher with you 24 by 7 the student has a teacher in his workbook 24 by 7 against every question all the student needs to do is let's say he wants to revise a concept you taught him maybe 2 weeks ago and we have announced a test in the classroom all he need to do take the mobile phone from their parents for maybe 3 to 4 minutes scan that particular code the concept for example here images formed by concave mirror the mobile phone is taken the scanning is done takes few seconds and there the teacher pops up so the first rule is what we are understanding right now before understanding the first rule let us have the diagram in front of us so here we have the diagram in front of us wherein we have the center of curvature the focus and the pole whenever you draw the diagram you have to make an object the object would be represented with the help of an arrow pointing in the upward direction and its name would be ab we can name it anything but we'll name it ab capital a and b 
Now, the first rule is if the incident ray is parallel to the principal axis, this reflected ray will pass through the focus. You have to remember this. Wherever you place the object in front of this, I'm sure you all agree. I, you, if you saw this video, it will take hardly a few minutes to brush up the concept of how the ray diagrams were to be made. And this is one concept which you need to keep revising. And the video was absolutely self-explanatory. And if you're using the teacher's edge, you're using the presentation, the child is already quite well versed with the presentation that came up. He's immediately able to relate it. What a tool to make the student self-dependent. Of course, you have taught the entire concept inside the classroom. A teacher is a must. But what about him at home when he wants to revise? Do you want him to go to the YouTube and search for the concept? You definitely don't want to ha that to happen. Rather, use this app. The app has only the content videos. Only scan, maybe use the scanner when and wherever the child wants. It's absolutely customized for him. In fact, even the 10th standard book, definitely a 10th standard student uses these books in a much, much effective way as well. Why? They need to remember the entire syllabus for the entire year. They need to keep brushing up the concepts again and again. So here, these books, the very few pages in the beginning explains the paper pattern and the mark distribution. It starts with the summary of the chapter, gives an ample of space for the student to practice writing. And you all will agree, this is what is missing. The least the student is doing is writing. If we can actually inculcate and encourage them Make this book beautifully. Write it down beautifully. These are your notes. All you have to do is revise from here. If they make it as a habit, their speed is definitely going to increase. This book can be brought inside your classroom. You teach, you make them write. They are writing in one particular place in a methodical manner. There is absolutely no mixture happening. Physics, chem, bio, all together, no it's happening perfectly in a methodical way. The presentation can be emphasized. We can always encourage the child to write it beautifully. Give them some perks inside the classroom. Encourage them. Appreciate them. Even the slow writers, those who are written slow in writing, if this becomes a habit inside the classroom, their speed is bound to increase. In fact, I've seen it happening inside the class. So the paper in the board exams will get over on time. Why? Because they were writing with you every day in the classroom. You didn't make them suddenly write only during the exams. You made them write every day. Every time your classroom was a writing class, was an understanding class, was an interactive class. And what happened when he goes home? Of course, when the student goes home, even if he wants to revise a simple thing, what is the definition? All he has to do is just use the mobile phone, scan the code for a few seconds and just watch the video. A constant temperature by a unit mass of a solid. So we have to be very specific here. A unit mass of a solid to convert into liquid phase is called specific latent heat of fusion. So what was the basic difference between latent heat of fusion and specific latent heat of fusion? It is actually similar. The only difference is when we have the word specific, we have to be specific. Well, you must be wondering why definition is also explained. Why not? When a 10 standard student is actually revising the entire concept, if he is able to hear that once again, the listening visualization both will help him to remember and memorize easily you are making his life simpler so the concepts are explained there is a concept video for every concept of the chapter and there is a video for every question of the chapter i have seen children using this book very frequently for numericals 
for long answers, lengthy answers of biology, for remembering those words of bio. I have seen them continuously, constantly using this video so that they get acclimatized with that word, the what words they need to use in the answer. In numericals, in fact, we can always tell them, you can read the question and get the hint from the video, but you need not see the entire video. Once the teacher explains you what is the formula to be used, pause the video, solve it, and then recheck the answer. Will they do this if they were referring a guide or a reference book? No, they will see the next step and they will write, try to copy it down. Rather here, they can take the hint, pause the video, solve it and reconfirm. Here, what we need to understand is that this numerical only talks about a change in temperature and not the change in state. That means somewhere we have to realize that we have to use the formula MC delta T. That means what we are going to do is in the given data, first of all, we'll write that mass is given to us that is 5 kg. Then what is given to us is nothing but the temperature difference that is delta T. How much is it? Well, this is how nicely these books have been made. Last but not the least, I am definitely waiting for your questions in the chat box. We like to summarize the entire session, explaining how. I have been trying to evolve, sharing some of the experiences and explaining how T-Club is giving us two important tools, the presentation teacher's edge and the amazing set of Firefly books. I am sure with these two tools, you all experienced teachers will definitely put your own masala and deliver it in a much better manner. You can create that magic inside the classroom. Make it a student-centered teaching. And in the end, what we want? We want a happy and a confident child. We want a child to be stress-free, enjoy the concepts, finish off studying in front of us, and make his life absolutely happy. Correct? With this, I want you all to ask me any questions. I hope the session explained you. I hope I could share my experiences with you all. I was transparent. I was genuine, whatever I've spoken. And I hope I've touched your chord in some format. Please feel free to ask any questions you have in, any doubts. Thank you, Rosie, ma'am. Thank you so much. Okay, okay, Lakshmi ma'am, I got it. Uh, sorry for pronouncing your name in the wrong way there. Yeah, uh, Medina ma'am, we have these books right from the sixth standard onwards. Yes, the textbook, come workbook, come the teacher in it, everything for mathematics and for science. Yes, Nazia, Man, Sukanya, any questions, any doubts? I hope I could explain, I could get the feeling out. Yes, Lakshmi ma'am, how to use the code? You will be guided through this entire thing, how to do it, how the code has to be used. This workshop was more of sharing the experience and letting you know that this has already been done. We are doing this. Now it's you all for experiencing it as well. You must, you must experience it. Let's, let's, uh, yes, yes, I agree. I agree. It's an excellent technology. Technology used in its best possible way. Absolutely right, Jyoti ma'am. Absolutely right. Yeah, Krishna ma'am, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, Naga Lakshmi. Thank you. Thank you, Sivakumar. Thank you so much. I hope uh, there is an agreement to that, that there is a shift of teaching required. Let us make it student-centric. 
let them become the rajnis and we need not be the shiner in the classroom it's not about us it is about them thank you shabira ma'am thank you all the teachers once again thank you for being present thank you so much and let's bring the change let's do it right thank you thank you once again thank you all